welcome back to another video fellas today in this video i'll be showing you how to catch todd from the jetty for now enjoy all right fellas first things first the wind on this day was wicked so the audio is pretty trash so we're gonna try and cover that up because nobody wants to hear that second off get yourself a pair of these ice trekkers found them on amazon safety first man some of these rocks are pretty slippery and they give you a little little bit more of a grip so they're really good to have when you're out there togging i know people like to use corkers pretty expensive these are pretty cheap so cheap option there for you and lastly it's been two years since i've been togging off of these jetties so the kid's gonna be a little rusty all right so let me try and explain the sport of togging in layman's terms for everyone so basically you're gonna cast your rod a little bit off the rocks not too far not too short you're gonna find a hole once you're in that hole you should start feeling them picking at your crab now this is where it gets tricky because it is kind of hard to know when to set the hook once you set that hook you could swing and miss or you could hook into the fish the fish could either have already swam you into the rocks to where you then have to break off or you could pull the SOB out which is awesome by the bites you can't even tell if it's a big tog or a little tog because it seems like they all bite the same but yeah that's that's pretty much it you use green crabs sand fleas but any type of crab they'll they'll go after shrimp even works and clam works now tackle wise you're gonna want to use some some heavy monofilament I like to use 50 pound I tie a sinker to the bottom and I try and get that hook as close to the weight as possible. There's a lot of different variations of how people do it and I like to have a long mono leader going up to the main braid line just in case you're rubbing along those rocks. You have a little bit more security. I know what you guys are thinking. Alex, why the hell did you put that fish back who is a keeper? They are great eat, but a 15, 16 inch keeper can be six to 10 years old, believe it or not. So they are super slow aging fish. So keep that in mind when you guys are out there. Well, I hope you guys learned something. If you haven't gave Toggin a try, definitely give it a shot. It is fun, especially in August when there's a summer lull, the flounder aren't biting. So, this next video is from a mackerel trip that I took early July. It was it was a good time. First time for that. It was fun. Enjoy. <laughs> I got a little one. Good. Oh, man, that's a good catch now, commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting, getting oh, more of a What do you say? He said we should have a good catch commercially now. Get that time? Let's go right to the fish market.
graceful. Huh? That was graceful. This don't get old, man. Huh? I don't think this gets old. I'm just dropping it on their heads. <laughs> turned into a meat trip real huh? quick. Turned into a meat trip real quick. All meat, all meat, just like check to the grocery store. That was the grocery store. See ya. Oh. See, I think the problem is my rod is way too sensitive. <laughs> 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 Oh no, this is chicken lobby, so... 